Today we are out shooting for my folk project in which I'm documenting the open spaces of Cambridge and of course the people in them. I love this project because first of all it looks very nice, uh, the fog gives this something extra to the photos, but at the same time shooting in fog it really helps me to calm down, forget about my problems and just move on. Today's photo walk is kind of an experimental one because today we are using a lens that I would say it's not ideal for these conditions because in fog conditions you need longer lenses, you need bigger zooms because you need to be further away from your subjects. The problem with fog is that the closer you go to your subjects, the more fog dissipates and as it dissipates you don't really get this effect. Of course the, the lens we're using today, the Tamron 17-28 f2.8 is an ultra wide lens. It's counterintuitive for this kind of conditions but we're going to experiment because this lens can give you a different look from the long lens look of course. It can uh, get more in the frame, it can capture stories but it can also give you some distortion in the images which helps in the dynamic angles. Hello from the voiceover, we are starting this photo walk with some simple framing using some tree branches. Of course we have fog in the background and a fire truck passing in the middle of our frame. We are moving on to a second shot from a low perspective, always very respectful. When I shot this photo walk we still had some yellow leaves left on the trees and the pavements, so I took advantage of that, I placed my camera really low and placed my zoom to 17mm to get some distortion in the image. Some people passed and I framed their legs big, opposing the smaller figure walking ahead. Again I use some of those yellow elements in this scene to break the monotony of the endless wide of the fog. I also added the fence on the right to create a leading line that would take the eye from the foreground all the way to the narrow tunnel formed in the background. An alternative view of the same spot here, I moved closer to the tree, placed my camera lower with an upwards angle. This exaggerated the size of the tree and contrasted with the size of the puny humans below it. This is again all thanks to the ultra wide focal length. So despite the huge size of the frame we are finding solution and this is good. We shoot what we can shoot and not trying to imitate the look of another lens with this one. Here's another classic frame of the endless road. I've seen this door in one of my strolls before, however despite how beautiful it is, I could never figure out how to photograph it. Fog gives a lot of mood and maybe this is the bit extra I needed for this scene, what do you think? I have this tree close to my heart. One day I want to put a tree exactly like that in my backyard. The red of its leaves in combination with the red of the tiles on the ground create a beautiful pop against the white walls and the foggy surroundings. I play with the framing a lot today, this focal length drives me to do it, so here I created a tight frame of little colorful umbrellas that wakes us up, both me and you, hopefully, from the monotony of the white fog. And again I'm using the orange colors on this riverboat in combination with the umbrellas to add color contrast to my photo. Also I love the tranquility of the scene, it is exactly what I'm expecting to get in a day like this. Some peace, quiet and relaxation. Just opposite to the previous scene I found something a little different, a combination of leading lines and subtle but important colors that are dressing the path you can see in front of you with a man walking with a moody look. What I love from this scene is that the fog is hiding the background of the frame and it is impossible to tell where or if 
the path and the river split at any point. Everything merges in beautiful harmony. Similarly here, the fog has covered everything in the background of the frame, splitting the photo in basically two parts, a white upper and a green lower part. In the middle there is a single person who is walking towards the fog. A man is walking his dog so the dog can enjoy some of the tranquility of the fog, so I photographed them again in a two-dimensional frame with half of it being green and the other half white. We do get some depth here in contrast to the previous shot because of the trees in the background. And a classic frame here that it's not going to win any creativity prizes, but it does look decent. A long road leads to the trees in the background that look like they are waiting for me and possibly for you as well, like the heptapods from the arrival. If you're watching this video from a mobile phone, probably you're not going to appreciate this next photo that much, so I would suggest to replay the video if you have a big TV screen or a computer screen later. Well, of course, to give me some more views and of course to give me the like if you haven't done it already. But also to get a good look at this photo, because here we take the sense of scale to an extreme. Not sure if you can see it, but there is a tiny human walking towards those trees and houses to the right that look huge. Scale, mate. The Osmo, my action cam, died around here, but I have a few more decent photos to brag about, so let's switch to an alternative video mode. I crouched next to this tree like a trooper and I was trying to use those yellow leaves somehow to frame a silhouette deep in the frame. I have to admit, this is the only photo I heavily cropped and probably the only moment I missed having a 50mm lens. While I enjoy talking to you, we need to go back because I'm absolutely freezing now, so I took a few more snaps of trees and people that I kind of liked and called it a day. Photographing in fog, especially in these early morning hours, for me it's like meditation. I do that and then I feel empty and ready to go about my day. Today we went out with an ultra wide lens to photograph for my fog project, which I found quite risky since uh, I've never done this before, I've never shot fog in this kind of wide focal lengths. However, I think it turned out quite well in the end. I enjoyed very much a lot of the photos I took today and I'm pretty sure that one or maybe two of them will end up being in the final selection of photos that will end up being maybe a book or something like that. We will see. Now, I want from you something very, very important. I want you to go down in the comments and let me know which of the photos you saw today you believe are worthy to be in a publication. It is very important for me to hear your opinion because it does make me feel that we are building this book together. And I want to thank you very much if you have contributed already in the selection of those photos. That was all for today, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Until next time, I will see you on the streets. Bye bye.